Hey everyone, this is Simon Fuchs and welcome to the trailer for my new hard surface tutorial for creating a handgun. Right now, you are looking at the final renders of the asset that we will be creating in this course. This tutorial series contains more than 50 hours of video where I will teach you how to create the handgun from start to finish. I am sharing my entire workflow with you, including all the time savers that I have picked up in my over 16 year long career in video games. The handgun tutorial starts with an intro to both 3D Studio Max and ZBrush, where I will teach you all the modeling basics that you will need to know to be able to follow the course. I'm giving you a detailed overview of my workflow in over five and a half hours of fully commented video, and I will be providing you with all the scripts, hotkeys and plugins that I use daily, turning 3D Studio Max and ZBrush into powerful tools for hard surface modeling. We will start by creating a block out of the gun. In this chapter, I will teach you about fundamental design principles for creating blockout geometry and we will end up with a blockout mesh that we will use as a base for the gun. After that, you will learn how to create a detailed high poly model. I will teach you a highly streamlined, boolean based workflow using 3D Studio Max and ZBrush. At the end of this chapter, you will be able to create advanced hard surface shapes in no time without having to rely on setting up support loops. You will also learn how to add a damage pass to your model in ZBrush, adding believable detail that will make the asset look photorealistic and help it to stand out from all the other gun models out there. After we are done with the high poly, we will focus on creating an optimized low poly mesh. You will learn how to use Max to generate game-ready, low poly geometry for the gun based on the previously created high poly object. On top of that, you will learn everything you need to know about UV layout and UV creation for hard surface objects. Once the low poly is done, I will show you how to set up your asset for baking and substance painter. I will teach you how to create color ID maps for your mesh and we will be going back and forth between Max and Substance Painter to create the perfect bake. In this chapter, you will learn the fundamentals of baking and I am also teaching you how to fix baking errors and create the perfect bake for your model. After the bake, I will teach you how to create photorealistic PBR based materials for your handgun model. In over five and a half hours of video, you will learn the fundamentals of Substance Painter and we will create every material of the gun from scratch, adding detail layer by layer. You will learn the latest techniques to create stunning looking textures for your asset in this chapter. Once the final materials have been created, we will export them to use in Marmoset Toolbag or any other game engine. In the last chapter of the tutorial, we are going to create the final renders of the handgun for your portfolio in Marmoset Toolbag. I will teach you the fundamentals of lighting your object and we will make use of advanced features like global illumination to create stunning looking photorealistic renders. We will then take the renders to Photoshop and create portfolio ready images of your final game asset. You will learn how to tweak your final renders to make them ready to upload on ArtStation or anywhere else. Thank you for watching and see you in the tutorial.